All right, boys, welcome back. So with the Julius banner coming to an end, the big question right now is, what do you summon for next? We don't know the exact order of things coming out, but I'm going to tell you what I plan to do. I'm basically my summon guy for 2024, and the next few characters coming towards the game. So let's jump over towards the JP side and go over what's most likely the next few banners. Now, I will say... Global is com completely different towards JP and KR, so we don't know what we're going to get first. Never mind what's going to come next, right? But what we do know is Season 3 is actually now Season 4. This swimsuit, you know, and also swimsuit Vanessa has been completely skipped. Now, don't worry. These will actually likely be free-to-play units, or they might release on a separate banner. Who knows? But considering what they've done with Astar, to where this guy is now just a filler character, not really being classed as seasonal, I expect them to do the same for Vanessa and you know. So that does mean the next banner is going to be season four, which is going to feature Jack in his actual Clover Academy outfit. One of my favorites from the actual color spreadsheet, if you haven't seen it, it's on screen now. Like the one that I wanted the most was Jack and it's hurt me to say it, but the guy is really bad. So uh, unfortunately I would not be some for him. Also for Goleon, from what I've heard from the JP side, he's a bit of an all right character. Definitely not really worth chasing after though, unless you want to build him out. However, and I've seen it myself, this actual shot is actually kind of cracked a little bit. She is the one you want here. So, yes, the next banner summer for kind of is going to be season three. However, as I just said, Jack is not that good. And for Goldion, it's not a character really you want to summon for. Only character you actually want is going to be this Charlotte. So, do you summon for her? Actually, probably not. Because the gateway of destiny is a thing and we are going to be getting another key for season 3. So what I really recommend you're doing is you're getting that free Charlotte and guaranteeing her. And then maybe doing a few summons on the banner. But uh, I wouldn't really do it personally. I'm not going to go in detail about every character we're going to be talking about in today's video. But if you want to know why Charlotte is good, she has an ultimate where it has a chance. But if you max it out, it's 100%. That will give your whole team a counter attack. We saw how good Noel is with a counter attack. But imagine your whole team getting counter attack. All right, so the next batch of characters that might release, like how we had Kohono Kato right now, would probably be uh, Veto, the third eye version. And I've not really heard too much about the character, so I'm assuming he's not that good. I kind of stopped playing JP and Kyle around this time these characters came out because... I mean, look, look at the releasing, right? They're not fucking characters. But yeah, I don't really care for these ones. So I'm probably not going to summon either. And then I assume we're, we might get another batch of characters releasing in January. To be fair, if you're wondering, apparently something big is coming in January. I don't know. It's just like rumblings in the community that something big is coming. So who knows? They might drop characters earlier than what they're supposed to. Because like I said, with the fact they changed season three to now season four. And with obviously Veto and Goldry, this really is a boring period about really boring boring characters and characters not really worth summoning for so global are most likely going to change some things up here and probably push at least a few characters earlier than what they're supposed to and once again bring back the hype because i don't think anyone wants to get really boring characters but he got come at one point and uh yeah those would definitely be a skip one of the other two next batch of characters is going to be Langris and also the Uno, you know, more importantly, Uno you know, featuring Bell. And uh, if you lot don't know how, yeah, that should look very good. I've actually seen that game. But if you lot don't know how Black Aster works, he essentially, with the Witch Queen, wants to use a full red team. So this is where Uno you know, is going to see a lot of play in the future. I probably will be summoning for Uno, you know, depending on what the leaks are and depending on. Uh, you know what comes before him or what comes after him but uh yeah you know a character i'm looking forward to but the big banner i'm looking forward to is going to be season five or for us season four and that is going to be Noel and also Charmy. These are the seasonal characters, which I think has now been named on the global version as a costume party. Of course, they can't call a Halloween update, you know, mid-February basically, right? But yeah, this is the banner I'm probably going to go crazy on next. And to be fair, it's basically what I'm saying for right now, assuming they don't drop anything big in between, but who knows what they're going to do on the global side. But yeah, this banner I really, really want. Not only is Noel's outfit probably my favorite in the game, and but she's also really, really crack once again it's not a video going over how these characters play we'll save that for when the time comes out but look at the outfit in game it looks sick i'll sh quickly show you the ultimate because it is really cool yeah a massive water pumpkin yeah okay so you see why i'm saying single target by the way but her main use comes from this level two but i say her main use comes from this skill here it's gonna be single target skill which you can see on screen now reducing magic attack so imagine using that onto noel Gonna be insane using it onto Julius. Also gonna be insane. Taunts and also lowers SP as well. 
Plus, animations are sick as well. Like, this is a character that I'm really looking forward to. Plus, also on the banner, because it is a two-person banner. It's going to be our first DPS Charmy. And from what I've seen, she's also really insane as well. This is going to be kind of when the burn meta starts to appear a little bit. Because she is a bit of a burn character. But to have two, which you can see the Tillis on screen now. But to have two top tier characters drop on one banner, this is where I'm going to go crazy for. Especially with the world skill page, the Halloween one, which you can see on screen now. Upon taking damage, there's a 20 up to 100% chance that you reduce the SP gauge by one, which is, once again, just insane, right? Like, this is a character and banner that I want to go crazy on, and will probably be the first and next big banner that I will go crazy on until we get Black Aster. But even then, Black Aster's not too crazy, and maybe you can't even go that crazy on him because he might do that pay to win type thing. If you don't know JP and KR, they've done something different normally. And if not, then maybe Merrily on up because by then we should know what she does, and if she's crazy, then that might stay for her. After that, or maybe just before, there's going to be two characters released in this world, which are going to be, you know, joint together, by the way. And that is going to be Fana. And she, from the looks of it, is insane. If you look at her kit, what's getting a little flash on screen, not the full details, but she looks really, really fun, right? And that's one big thing you want from units. But uh, alongside her, what's going to have to pick and choose, I don't know, but the Witch Queen. Now, the Witch Queen, as a character, not great. But because of her actual passive, which, once again, you can see it on screen now, you're basically buffing up Black Aster. Like, they really want you to use the Witch Queen with Aster. So, uh, yeah, you have to kind of get hurt if you plan to summon Black Aster, which everyone should be summoned for Black Aster. If you look at the top ranks right now, you can see, like, what's taken over is the Mono Red team, where you just use all red characters. Like, even Charlotte, for example. Charlotte made a massive comeback from the looks of it, just because you get to use Black Aster and Finro, just a full red team. And as you get down, you can see the Unipop a little bit. You can see the Charm, and you can see them the well, these are characters, like I said, I want to summon for. I guess from looking at it right now, you don't really want to go too crazy on the Fana because no one's really using Fana in the top tier ranks, but uh, it's Fana with, with a massive Salamander. I want it right. And I do imagine Black Aster will drop earlier on Global because, once again, hype. They want to probably do a big celebration within every like month or two we just got julius so i imagine in january you're probably not going to get to because it might actually be too early but then moving into february maybe like towards the mid even maybe early february who knows what it can do i do imagine black aster might drop and then finally we're going to move in towards season six which will be our season five uh that's going to be the ceremony characters once again if you haven't seen the screenshot here it is now on screen unfortunately magna didn't really get the hair upgrade or like the hair change a bit unfortunate but you can see we are going to be getting charlotte as well and from what i've heard the ceremony characters are already top tier once again here's a quick look at the tier list you can see magna and stuff are top tier but the rankings as you can see you do see a few charlottes chipping away in a little bit she is obviously simply very very good and you will find a Magda, but that's assuming you use like the full burn team like with the girl in Charmy. But that's something you might want to invest into later on. So boys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Once again, what are my plans in the summer for to wrap up the video? Like I said, I think personally myself, I want to go crazy and probably the next big banner that I'm saving for is going to be not season 3 for us in Global. I'm probably going to skip that banner entirely, just get my free Charlotte and move on. But then start saving for season 4 and summon for obviously Charmy and Osa as well because it looks like a really good banner where you get two good characters, two good skill pay as well it's a banner that i want to go crazy on and probably will go crazy on until we do get the next seasons or until they drop witch queen and at that point we know the big boys come in black aster so if you want to stay up to the end of the channel boys and be ready for when these characters come out then subscribe to the channel so boys thank you for watching and uh yeah peace